Good day everyone. Welcome to my channel. So we have our new topic for MAPE which is all about the musical elements and performances of vocal and instrumental music of Mindanao. So this will be our topic for music for the third quarter and module number one. Hello students, this module will help you understand and appreciate indigenous music to strengthen your cultural identity as Filipino. You will be introduced to various indigenous music and you will correlate its importance to the community. You will have fun hearing different listening activities focusing on music from Mindanao. For the objectives, specifically, you will be able to First, describe the musical characteristics of music from Mindanao. The second one is to analyze and evaluate music and music performances from Mindanao using rubric on musical elements and style. And the last one, you are going to write a reflection on the importance of music in society. In Mindanao, Christians, Muslims, and Lumads live together. These various communities speak of multifarious life ways, diverse and even contrasting. There are communities that reside beside each other. One influences the other. Their practice and values are also overlapping. It is peopled by about 18 indigenous communities and multifarious settlers from the north. Mindanao is likewise home to 13 Islamized communities with cultural ways manifested in their creative expressions. Music is organic to these cultural communities. It is used in different social functions. Some music are sacred in nature and they play an important role in the society. Thus, careful understanding and respect should be observed all the times. With this, music in Mindanao is an intricate yet an interesting matter to study with. Sometimes, formal parameter of musical expressions from the West may not work for music from Mindanao. Music has functions. The music could be for rituals of children, lullabies, courtship, and marriage, death, occupation, good harvest, socialization, etc. It reveals how important are the creative expressions to the life of the community. The second musical characteristics is that cultural communities occupying shared boundaries exhibit similarities in their music when it comes to vocal and instrumental music. Another musical characteristics is the style of singing used for vocal music are melismatic, or group of notes sung to one syllables of text, long phrases, narrow range, fluid singing, and tremelo or trembling effect. The fourth musical characteristics is the vocal repertoire is performed either in responsorial or solo manner.
Another musical characteristics in Mindanao is that epic songs may be chanted at weddings, gatherings to entertain guests or simply as evening entertainment for the villagers themselves. This may last for one night. Another musical characteristic is that in some cultural practices, music should be mixed with literature, dance, etc. to yield a specific performance. Thus, music cannot be detached from the other art forms. And the last musical characteristic is that people create melodic chants and indigenous instruments based on the materials available in their place. Vocal music, it is usually written in text and intended to be sung by a human voice. It could be sung either in a cappella or with instrumental accompaniment. No single categorization can be applied to the music of Mindanao. The vocal repertoire is performed either in responsorial or solo manner. Responsorial singing is also known as call and response and can be a leader chorus type or a song debate. Solo songs are sung for all kinds of occasions and are sung by one person only. This may be accompanied by instruments and or dancing. The next one is the vocal genres according to the function. So the table presents some example of music from Mindanao according to their functions. The next one is the intangible heritage. So the following music are inscribed into United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization or UNESCO. List of intangible cultural heritage. Instrumental music, it is played by one or more instruments with no vocal line. Instrumental music in the indigenous cultures are usually identified according to the types of ensembles, playing styles, or instruments. Example of instrumental music is kolintang. It is a Magindanawan kolintang in symbol, is a gong chime collection of instruments important to the musical culture, culture of the Magindanao people in the southern Philippines. Kolintang music is used for celebratory occasions such as festivals, 
weddings, engagement parties, and baptisms, as well as in musical competitions. Another example of instrumental music is Fang Long. It is a Bilaan's two-string musical instruments. The Bilaan community upholds the Fang Long as one of the significant cultural icons of the tribe. It has several valuable social functions such as enlivening community gatherings and use in planting and harvesting rituals. Another example of instrumental music is the tagungo. It is a type of music traditionally played by the male uh, musicians dressed in their festive fineries. It is considered to be outdoors music, while the related kolintang in symbol by contrast is chamber music. Another example of instrumental music is kubing. The kubing is a type of Philippine jaw harp from bamboo found among the Maguindanawan and other Muslim and non-Muslim tribes in the Philippines and Indonesia. The kubing is traditionally considered an intimate instrument, usually used as communication between family or a loved one in close quarters. Both gender can use the instrument. The females more infrequently than males who use it for short distance courtship.